but I'm not raising You're going to work on my teeth, not my nose. I don't wear a mask getting but, my teeth cleaned. But it's about the safety of, our, of all of our... Fine, I'll cover my mouth. Can I go be seated now? No, because you're not You're not filling out the forms or letting us take your temperature. It's about protecting... Another episode. You can't take my temperature. Everybody. That's against the law. All right, well, I can't... You're not, not an MD. We're not okay. allowed to... We can't no, see you. That's I have a right to sue you for harassing me, the ad manager, and this entire company, Smile, whatever you call it, dental. Of Karen's Gone Wild. I do have that right, and I talked to my attorney before I came here, too. Okay. So does he want that to happen? I've waited long enough for my teeth to be cleaned, okay? Coming in with the rare strategized attack. Let's get this done, okay? Yeah. They're telling me I can't see you. Who's there? Who said that? The owner of the practice. I want to hear him. Get him on the phone. Doing what she does best, demanding. He has to send me in written writing, so I want to see your policy. You shouldn't be in the building without a mask either. I can do what I want. No, I'm you free. Can't. It's they not a law. Office. It's not a law. And telling employees what to do. It's a medical office. No, it's a dental office. Karens are losing their minds all over the world, specifically in this country, because there's a pandemic and they're tired of hearing about it, especially from a president who has such a low IQ, thus they have a low IQ, in following their commander-in-chief's words, which are meaningless. If American states were countries, here's where each would rank. We have failed as a nation. Trump has given up as a leader, not that he even started in the first place. When the front office staff explain that masks are required in the waiting room in order to help prevent the spread of COVID-19, the woman insinuated she would use her hand to cover her mouth. Hi, I'll cover my mouth. Can I go be seated now? No. Staff at the unknown office then asked if they could take the woman's temperature, to which she threatened to sue for harassment. You can't take my temperature. That's against the law, the woman shouted back. I have the right to sue you for harassing me. So look, this is not a woman who went in to get a teeth cleaning. Here's how I know. She went in, and prior to, she spoke with her attorney. She was looking for a fight. She was looking for a confrontation. It's a medical office. No, it's a dental office. Real words that she said. I need it in written writing, real quote. One Twitter user put it perfectly. Imagine thinking a business which literally requires its employees to stick their hands in your mouth shouldn't be allowed to take some very basic precautions to make sure you don't have a highly infectious disease which doesn't have a cure. As TMZ wrote on their site, consider this a PSA for all Karens out there. You most certainly can be legally refused service for not wearing a face mask inside a private business, just like this woman. As for masks, this has become a politicized issue from a white supremacist president. He said Americans wearing a mask is a sign of disapproval of him. He mocked his opponent, Democrat Joe Biden for wearing one. The mask issue has clearly become part of our polarized national debate around identity and political affiliation, said Andrew Lakoff, professor of sociology at USC. You have a situation where President Trump has taken it on as an emblem of his political ideology, not wearing a mask is being implicitly linked to masculinity and freedom. It's become a statement for some, a badge of identity. It's a medical office. No, it's a dental office.